convening this uh, hearing this morning. I had several questions regarding IRS funding and closing the tax gap. Um, one of the questions I have to Mr. Mazur is recent Senate hearing IRS Commissioner Reddick claimed that the federal tax gap nowadays was close to 1 trillion or about 560 billion more than the latest IRS estimate, <coughs> excuse me, which covered a period from 20, 2011 to 2013. His statement has triggered a mini debate over the actual size of the gap. Do you think the commissioner is correct in his est estimate? And if so, why do you think the gap grew by almost 600 billion in seven years? Um, thank you for the, for, for the question uh, uh, about the tax gap. Um, one of my previous jobs when I worked at the IRS was actually overseeing the estimates of the tax gap that the IRS did. And the um, folks who, who worked on this in the, in the Office of Research Applied Analytics and Statistics came up with an estimate for the 2011 to 2015 period of $441 billion. Um, obviously, that would grow over time. And in my testimony, there's a, a statement that talks about if it grew with the size of the economy, it would be around $580 billion for 2019. Um, Commissioner Reddick um, has been um, saying that the estimates are um, on the low end because they don't take into account particular types of advances in, in the economy and in potential tax avoidance behavior. Um, the IRS is in the process of updating those estimates and mm -hmm. we'll see where they, where they come out on that. Um, no matter how you look at it, a $580 billion is a big number for, uh, for a tax gap for 2019. And we project over the coming decade, it would be $7 trillion. Um, and so it's, it's large and it's growing and something that needs to be, needs to be addressed. And so you I'm wouldn't gonna... say specifically that the estimate that was given by, um, by commissioner Reddick was create, was the correct amount, but you're saying that it is a large amount and it's yeah. growing in an accelerated rate. Uh, there's been considerable discussion in the past year about the best way to close that tax gap. Do you have or purport uh, or promote specific policy measures that would have the biggest impact in shrinking that gap? So a couple of things. And the, the administration's proposals are sort of an all of the above approach, right? So there's additional funding for enforcement personnel, additional funding for IT systems, and improved information reporting. And taken together, we think that they would raise approximately $700 billion over the coming decade. Um, but it really requires to do all of those components. So you can't just do one. Um, they really are complementary. You want the additional enforcement agents to be well-trained, to have a, a, available the best tools to do their work. And so that means improved information reporting and improved IT systems. So you really need to do all of those. Well, with that um, enhancement, uh, particularly in the enforcement area, could it be used to fully fund high-level policy priorities like the child tax credit system for our children or even infrastructure, which is so dear to members of this committee? Right. So if you look at the president's um, plans, the um, improved compliance um, revenues are used um, to support a number of the, the proposals, but they're, they're in concert with um, improved uh, improvements in the way we tax corporations and improvements in the way we tax individuals. So, so really, I, I, it's up to, to you all in Congress to, to do the mixing and matching uh, together. But we think if we look at the president's budget proposals, there's a coherent plan to do all of those things and all paid for. Well, we rely on you experts to give us some guidance on which ones we should have as a priority. Mr. O'Donnell, before my time expires, I wanted to ask you, we're talking about enforcement, but taxpayer services. Um, discussions on reducing the tax gap has focused on enforcement. What's lost in the discussion has been the role of adequate taxpayer services in keeping the gap from rising. How much emphasis do you think should be placed on upgrading the current taxpayer services as an element of a strategy to shrink the gap? Yes, Congresswoman Plaskett, thank you. I, I think a significant amount of emphasis needs to be placed on providing service to taxpayers. Uh, earlier, I received a question regarding 
earned income tax credit. And that is an area where I think a significant amount of outreach to help eligible taxpayers know they're eligible and claim the credit appropriately would go a long way in eliminating problems in that space. Thank you so much. And I yield back, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, Mr.